Hi, welcome to this Excel 2016 video presented by CIS Sandbox at Bentley University. My name is John and we'll be talking about basic Excel functions today. Basic Excel functions include sum, max, min, average, and count. We'll also do some work with operators like the multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. So let's get started. Today we're looking at sum payroll sort of uh, for about two weeks period we have days 1 through 14 here we can see that the earnings start at $136.54 and comes down to day 12 here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sum them up first we're gonna hit equals and we're gonna type in sum hit the left parenthesis you can do is highlight them cells D10 to D23 close it off with a right parenthesis and hit enter. Here we have our sum for all 14 days. We're going to do the same exact procedure for C, cell C24 here, but what we can do is we can actually go up to formulas, hit auto sum, and we can either hit this button or we can hit this down arrow and you can see that it has sum and has everything that we're going to talk about today. So hit sum and it's going to come up and it shows every single one that we need. Hit enter. Here we go. There's 81 hours and a quarter hour in these, these two weeks. Next we're going to look at the max function. So to get the longest day during these two weeks we're going to hit enter, type in max, left parenthesis, and we can scroll up to C10, highlight it all, and close it off. And here we go. Here's our longest day. It's eight hours, three quarters of an hour. The next one we're going to look at is mid. So we can stay right here in the shortest day. And come to auto sum again, hit min. And see, it doesn't know which ones to look at. So we're going to fix that C10 colon C23. And hit enter. And our shortest day was no time at all. You see that he probably these weekends right now. So next we're going to look at the average hours of the number of days that we see. So we're going to type in enter. And right now we're going to make this more complicated than it has to be so we can view the count function in a reasonable manner. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum these hours, close it off. We could have also taken the total right here. But what we're going to do is hit the dividing symbol, backslash, and we're going to hit type in count now. And we're going to count the same thing. We're going to see how many there are. Now that should be 14. So now we're taking the total right here, and we're going to divide that by 14. Here we go. 5.8 hours a day. That's what it is for these 14 days. Instead of using the, the sum in and then divided by count, what you can do is actually hit the equals and type in. I'm sorry. Hit sum average. Average. There we go. Now we can see that it's averaging again the wrong thing. So we're going to take C10, C23 enter and here we go same number same procedure but just an easier way to find it now what we're going to do is we're going to take the average hours per week well we already have the average hours per day so now all we have to do would be multiplied by seven so we're going to do equals you're going to take this cell right here multiply it by seven and there we go that person works an average of 40 hours Wait, 63 hours every week. Thank you for watching this tutorial in Excel 2016. Please visit the CIS Sandbox if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a good day.